Hello there. This is the family doctor. Sorry, I didn't see them this morning. Oh, well, that's all right, Mrs. Adams. Just you put them right here in the tub. All right. There. Are you getting along? Plenty of soap and all. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, there's Dr. Adams. Wonder what he's doing home so early. Well, I'll leave you, Mrs. Webb. Just call out if there's anything else I can do for you. All right. Thanks, Mrs. Adams. Mm. Grand. What are you doing home this time of day? Oh, nothing at all. Just thought I'd drop in. Been out to Miller's Lake to see Griff. Getting along fine. I'm so glad. Uh, Grant. Yes? Mrs. Webb is here, and I've never seen her so happy. Not so? What about? Well, her boy's come home. Oh, Dunk's back in town again. Huh? Now, Grant, you oughtn't to speak about it like that. Like what, honey? I wasn't speaking any particular way, only... Only... Only, uh, I just wonder if he's learned his lesson, that's all. I'm sure he has, Grant. Mrs. Webb says they treated them awful up at the reform school. Uh, and Duncan will just do anything to keep from going back there. Hmm. He says it's much worse than it was last time. They have a new superintendent, and he's awful mean to the boys. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid, Lou, that Cedarton's too small a town for Dunk Webb. He's getting to be a big boy now, and it may be that he'll have his mind set on bigger things than we can offer him here in Cedarton. Well, I hope not. Oh, my, ever since Mr. Webb was killed, Mrs. Webb just pined her heart out for Duncan to come home. Do you know what she said this morning, Grant? No, what? That she has another head of the family in her house now that Duncan is back home. Hmm. Maybe I'd better go out and say how to do to her. Oh, why don't you? It'll mean so much to her. Yeah. All right, honey, how well? How do you do, Mrs. Webb? Oh, how do Dr. Adams? Well, you sure should be a happy woman today, eh? Oh, Doctor, I'm so happy I, I could just cry and laugh all at the same time. <laughs> well, I'm mighty glad he's back. Uh, say, you might have him drop around to see me. I think maybe I might be able to steer him into a job somewhere. Oh. He'll be looking for work now, won't he? Yes, he will. Oh, Dr. Adams, that's so kind of you. I'll tell him tonight at supper time. He'll be around to see you in the morning. All right. That's fine. Say, no wonder I had to borrow a drugstore apron from Pete May this morning. <laughs> Look at all my gowns out there on the line. Hey, <laughs> Mrs. Adams must have picked them up at the office last night. Isn't that just like a woman, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Adams speaking. Oh, hello, Rip. Uh, no, Rip, he hasn't come in to see me yet. I, well, I know I spoke to you over a week ago, but can't you hold off getting a boy for a little while longer? I had it in mind going out to the web place this evening and having a talk with Dunk out there. Oh, all right, Rip. Yeah, thank you. He, all right. 
Sure, I'm glad to see you. How have you been, anyway? Oh, pretty good, thanks. Glad to get out of that rotten reform school. Hmm. You don't think you'll ever be wanting to go back, do you? Go back? <laughs> You'll never get me back in that dump again. That's the way to talk. Learned your lesson, haven't you, Dunk? What lesson? What? Well, well I don't know, Dunk. Or just, well, what? Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's forget the past, huh? Okay with me. Uh, Moss said you want to see me. Oh, yes, yes. I did suggest about a week ago that you drop around. Well, I've been busy. Oh, got a job already, Dunk? Job? Nah. Been seeing some of my pals over at Dunlap Junction. Ah, uh, Dunlap Junction. Yes, I know. Well, anyways, I don't know who'd want to hire me around Cedarton. Dunk, I think I've got a job for you. Yeah? What doing? Well, I was talking to Rip Bliss yesterday. Rip Bliss? You mean working in Bliss's grocery? Nah, thanks. Well, uh, why not? What's the matter with Bliss's? Oh, there ain't nothing the matter with it, as far as I know, but... But I just got bigger things ahead for me than slaving around a grocery store. Uh-huh. What have you got in mind, Dunk? Well, I ain't saying yet, but, but I got something in mind. I've been thinking it over. I see. Well, all right, Dunk. I'll tell Rip Bliss tomorrow that he'd best find another boy, I guess. Yeah, well, was that all, Doc? Yes, Dunk. That's all. Okay, well, well, thanks just the same, but, but I guess you folks in Cedarton don't realize it. I've been growing up in the last two years. <laughs> I'm 17 now. 17? Yeah, I see you. Well, all right, Dunk. Good night. Good night. Uh, growing up. 17. Gush to Friday. Watch this, Griff. This is the way I play checkers. One, two, three. Yeah, I see. So, uh, that's the way you play, is it? Yes, it is. Uh, well, I'll show you. This is the way I play. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's the way, and the game's over. Well, I'll be plowed for a furrow. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> well, Griff, I guess you'll lick me that time. Yep, I told you I would. <laughs> Hey, uh, Pete. Hello, Doc. Uh, Griff, well, what are you doing out so late? It's nine o'clock. Yep, I know, but uh, I just had to lick Pete May just once, but I'll be getting on back too late now. Uh, well, uh, so long. <laughs> Old Griff sure is a card. I let him beat me in checkers just now, and he's a tickle he could dance a jig. Say, uh, Doc, you look worried. What's up? Uh, say, Pete, did you see anybody drive my car away from in front here? Huh? Your automobile? By gosh, it is gone, ain't it? It was right out there when Griff and I started playing. Hmm. You sure Mrs. Adams didn't come and get it? Pete May, you know she doesn't drive. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, what do you know? Who could have done it, do you suppose? Pete, I've got an idea. You have? Who do you think... Never mind that now. Pete, it's almost time for you to close up for the night, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, uh... Would you mind closing up now and driving me over Dunlap Junction Way? No, of course not. But what for? Never mind. But come on and hurry. Pete, can't you make this thing go any faster? Only downhill, Doc. Only downhill. <laughs> But I'd still like to know what we're driving over to Dunlap Junction for. Yeah, never mind. Say, what are you pressing down on the floorboard for, Doc? Huh? Oh, well, we're coming to the maple grade. Oh, but, Doc, I got good brakes. Look. <laughs> see? Yes, I see, all right. I can't help thinking about my own car, I guess. I just haven't any brakes at all. You ought to get them fixed. Yes, I know. I've been so busy that I... Pete. Yeah, what's trouble? Look. Up against that tree there. What is it, Doc? Great jumping Jupiter. Is that your automobile, Doc? Yes, it was, Pete. It was. Well, come on. I hope we're not too late. Say, for the love of Mike, Doc, there's somebody in that automobile of yours. Yep, I know, Pete. Is he dead? Who is it? 
For gosh sake. This is terrible. I, I wonder how it got here. Uh, hush up, Pete. Yeah. I've got to listen here. Hmm. Is he a uh, dead doc? No, Pete. I don't think he's hurt badly. He's just knocked out for a while, I guess. Well, who is it, I wonder? And you don't need to wonder long. Wait till I turn him over. There. Well, I'll be plowed for a furrow. Dunk Webb. Yep, that's who it is. What? Hey, what are you doing, Doc? Smearing grease all over your hands and face and shirt front. Uh, what? Pete, what? listen to me. I telephoned you tonight. I was out here on my way to Dunlap Junction to see a patient. My brakes didn't hold on this grade. I bumped into this tree, walked over to the Mara place, and phoned you to come and get me. You understand that? Yes, Doc, I understand, all right. These dunks are coming, too. Yeah. Dunk. Dunk Webb. Huh? Who's that? Oh, I'm Doc Adams, huh? Yeah. It's me, all right, Dunk. What are you going to do with me now, Doc? Turn me in, huh? No, Dunk. I'm not. I, I ought to, but I won't. Why? Well, just because I think a lot of your mother, that's all. If it was just you... Uh... Oh, I know, Doc. Don't rub it in. Come on, Dunk. Let's see if you can stand up all right. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. Oh. Hello, Pete. Hello, Dunk. Gee, Doc. Now that I can see you, where you been? You're all covered with grease and dirt. Dunk, you weren't out here tonight. You haven't been anywhere near the Maple Grade or Dunlap Junction or any place else except Cedarton. You understand? You understand, Dunk? Yeah. I understand, Doc. All right, then. This is a secret between just us three. And, Dunk, if you ever say anything about this... I won't, Doc, honest. Gee. Gee, Doc, you're a swell guy. Me? Oh, what, what are you talking about? Nonsense. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's get on our way. Say, Doc... Yeah? Uh, well, you ain't said anything to Rip Bliss about that job yet, have you? No, not yet. Well... Well, if it's all the same to you, Doc, I'll I'll go around and see him tomorrow morning. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>